So I'm headed back to Chicago right now. I'm in like Stevensonville, Stevensonsville, Red Arrow Highway. Gas is cheaper here. It's still $4.25 though, so that's cool. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. If you watch this show, you know I have the hamburger notebook full of donations, things that people bought and want me to eat. And we're gonna get through them. Sometimes people just donate and go, Hey dog, it's up to you. <laughs> no one's ever called me dog. I don't know why I think I would ever be cool enough to be considered. Pippity poppy, give me the zabba. Yes, sir. So as I drive west on 94, I keep passing Dairy Queen Grill and Chills because to my knowledge, they have the locations that are just ice cream and then they have the locations that are both ice cream and then a bunch of hot food. And I realized I have never in my 30 plus years on this earth ever had a cheeseburger from Dairy Queen. <laughs> Dairy Queen has a big meal for you. In making that possible here today, I want you to continue with the constant, a donation from Quentin Nelson. Quentin's amazing, huge supporter of the show. This specific donation is gonna be me having my first ever Dairy Queen cheeseburger. My thoughts are it's gonna be bad. <laughs> I was just going by all the different places and I was like, I've had this, I've had that, that doesn't really sound good. And I thought this would be a really good one for Sean's first time eating. Pop, 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 pop. I had a little bit of like clickbaitiness in me that I wanted, so right across the street here, there's a Long John Silver's. And I have not had Long John Silver's since I was like 11 years old, because there was one in Redford Township, like right next to the Taco Bell. And every once in a while, like during Lent, like my dad would like actually get it and like not hate it. I'm so excited that Quentin likes the first time eating stuff and just wants that to continue. And sometimes, you know, there's weeks that go by that I don't ever pick the food. And so this is one that I'm kind of psyched for. Those are very large dumpsters. I'm really worried that this isn't open. Did somebody spray paint this? The old grill and chill. Oh, they're doing like a full remodel in there. All right, fingers crossed. I This might all be just footage no one ever sees. I'm gonna say no way. Hey there, thanks for choosing Dairy Queen. Would you like to try our two for five super snack? Order whenever you're ready. Uh, no, I'm just gonna do, can I just do a double bacon cheeseburger? Okay, just the burger? Yeah, just that. Okay, anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, your total is gonna be 593. Please go forward. Thank you. You're welcome. Got a lot of stuff on that menu. I can't believe this is open. I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. What does splash and dash mean? Is there a water park close by? I didn't even look at like the menu of like what to get. I just said double bacon cheeseburger hoping that they do that. <laughs> yeah. Hello. How's it going? Good. Thank you so much. I feel like $5.93 for a double bacon cheeseburger is pretty good. Thank you, have a good day. You too. I'm a little concerned how little time that took to get that. Do they cook the things on the grill and then just have it chill until somebody orders like 20 minutes later? I'm a little worried. Quentin, have you ever had a double cheeseburger from Dairy Queen? And try the quarter pound bacon cheddar grill burger basket. Great food and great treats. I, for the longest time, didn't know that they did hot food. Like, the one in my town growing up was definitely just like ice cream twists. Remember those? Now this is another reason why this vlog is so fun. I never would have gotten this if it wasn't for you guys. I would have probably just settled for something I always get, like probably like nuggets and fries, or like a Wendy's Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, spicy nugs, a Frosty, stuff like that. The same stuff I always get. But I am excited that people will watch me do this and then also comment what they think of their experiences at DQ if you have that. So they got the box where they mark it right here. So they got the original. I've got the windows down today because it's like gorgeous outside and I, I want to feel like I'm kind of eating outside. I was actually hoping I was going to see a random park bench. I think that's someone's home, so I don't think I can sit at that picnic table. <laughs> I come outside and I'm like... <laughs> Sean's first time eating the double bacon cheeseburger for just under a, a scooch under six. Damn, is this well built? <laughs> What the f Look at this thing, it's like a mile high. It's got pickles, lettuce, tomato, onion, cheese, bacon. It's like two different kinds of cheeses. There's like a white cheese and then an orange cheese. Damn! Did I just randomly come to a good location? That looks so good. 
All right, well, it's, uh, I don't like burgers this tall, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers in this scenario, and I'm very excited to see if this taste is anywhere as good as the look. I mean, double bacon cheeseburger, Dairy Queen, giddy up. Activate snake jaw. <laughs> it's great. As someone who eats a lot of fast food on the internet, this is VV good. I didn't look if there was anything new, I didn't mess with it. I like just rolled up, set double cheeseburger, and I was eating it two minutes later. America's wild. This is, now it doesn't have like a distinct personality, like how Burger King has like the flame grilled beef. This just tastes like an all American kind of cheeseburger. Like a what you see is what you get. Hell yeah. When I would go to Dairy Queen growing up, I think it was also like maybe that location used to be called a Dairy Whip. My favorite thing was just the, the largest chocolate vanilla swirl, like twisty cone, they could possibly sell me. And it was like a dollar nineteen, and it took you like a half hour to eat it. It was fantastic. I think everybody has that like guilty pleasure ice cream that they would get from like after a baseball game or whatever. That was mine. I remember my brother liking a lot of sprinkles involved. And then there was always some asshole's dad that would order like the double banana split for like seven, eight bucks. And they were like, it's gonna be a few minutes. And they would bring that thing out and everybody would be like, oh, you got the bit, oh, you got the banana split. And he would sit there with a spoon and eat it for like what seemed like hours. And we were all like, we want to go back home and play Mario Kart. Why did you order that? <laughs> I can you imagine. Is he just improvising or is he really tapping into his past? <laughs> kind of both always. This is not a burger I would seek out by any means. I am just so genuinely impressed that it's this good. Like, I don't think I'll be craving a DQ burger ever again, but in a pinch that I know this is there and it's $6. It's a big ass burger. A lot of condiments on it. So I hope you guys liked uh, this week's videos. It was a real quick in and out out of Detroit. I'm going to be back in Detroit in April. My brother's competing in a bodybuilding tournament, like a show where he's going to be doing like those strongman poses. He's been working his ass off. I can't wait to come home for that. And then the following weekend, my friend's getting married in Detroit. So I'm going to have like a full week in Detroit. So if there's specific places that you wish I would have gone this time, feel free to donate because this was like an in and out quick. But that'll be a more dedicated experience back home where I'll have time to go film things. So let me know. And Quentin, as always, man, thank you so much for the support. This is fun doing this every day. I literally wake up and I think about how exciting it is that I'm gonna be like eating something that I didn't plan. And I look forward to it all day. That is a very beefy burger. VV impressed. I'm eating this burger in a Burger King parking lot. <laughs> Wanted to find some shade. And Burger King has no customers and a lot of shade. Yeah, 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 I know. Bye, crumbs. Just sh shut on its own. Let's start to tell people my Honda, my 08 Honda Civic has automatic doors. Guys, thank you so much for watching another Sean's first time eating. I woke up today and had no idea that I was gonna do Dairy Queen. I went based off of just motivation from the signs as you're driving, which I think a lot of us do. We're sucked in by billboards or just kind of like, I haven't had that before or a while. So I'm glad I went away from what I would have normally gotten. And because of this vlog and because of Quentin Nelson, I did that. So donate. Also, if you want to see me cook anything or anything in Chicago, as I head back there, I'll be there for a few weeks. Thanks for being you guys. Stay hydrated and stay hungry. I think the manager just came out and made eye contact with me. I really hope that burger doesn't give me a stomach ache for this remaining hour and a half on the road.